we looked at people between the ages of 18 and, and um, 39 and found that um, among young women the, right, the incidence of melanoma had risen almost eightfold or eightfold in, in men had a rising incidence of fourfold higher compared to back in 1970. I think the main message is melanoma is on the rise more than any other cancer we know about. It's happening in young people. You can save your life by being aware of your skin, avoiding tanning beds and seeing a dermatologist. It's very important that we're aware of the exposure we have to the sun and, and tanning beds. Uh, if you just get one blistering sunburn when you're a teenager, your chances of melanoma more than doubles. And if you have more than five normal sunburns during your childhood or teenage years, then your chances of melanoma doubles or triples. And if you pull America, 50% say they've had a sunburn within the last year. And so sunburns are very common for whatever reason. And uh, it's something that happens right now. And the effects of that might be 10 years down the road. And so we kind of don't associate those two, but they really do catch up to you. And so I think the key is trying to uh, get the message out to America that it's a, it's a sunburn, which might not seem like too big of a deal now, but just one sunburn, especially in childhood years, can really influence your chances of melanoma later in life. We think that the younger the exposure of an intense burst of sun, perhaps the um, higher chance of having a problem with skin cancer later on in life. And so for sure, even in younger kids, it's probably more important, but also during the teenage years, very important to make sure you're protecting yourself and not getting that burn when you go outside. And that, the, the younger that you start those protective behaviors, the more protected you could be throughout your life. When we, look, when we look at melanoma in pediatric kids, over 90% of melanomas happen between the ages of 10 and, and 20 in pediatric population, and that means that most of the melanomas don't happen before the age of 10. The sad thing is, is that because we don't think melanoma is going to happen before the age of 20, 40% of the time the diagnosis is delayed, so you find it maybe later than you'd like. So I guess one of the key messages is that we're seeing melanoma happen more often in even teenagers nowadays, and the, one of the messages is that it can happen to you some things that you can do to help prevent that is uh, avoid tanning beds, avoid sunburns, and be aware of your skin. Just glancing yourself over uh, from head to toe once in a while. If you have more than 50 moles, your chances of melanoma is over three times higher. And so if you're a teenager and you have more than 50 moles, you should be more often, more often looking yourself over, looking for changes in your moles, and it might be a good idea to see a dermatologist even as a teenager if you have more than 50 moles. I think this, this PSA is, uh, is a really good one because it, it has a, a nice message. Its style is, is uh, in a way of connecting with young kids. It's not preachy or uh, um, kind of putting people down. And I think people can really connect with the exposure on the beach, having fun, and all of a sudden, before you know it, you have a sunburn. And, and hopefully that message can really connect with people and in the activities that we do on a regular basis and how we can help prevent what happened to this unfortunate mole.